हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल सेशंस फॉर बिजनेस स्टडीज दिस इज अविनाश लैम्बर्ट योर बिजनेस गुरु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर फोर्थ चैप्टर व्हिच इज बिजनेस सर्विसेज नाउ इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंकिंग और ई बैंकिंग इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एग्जैक्टली लर्न अबाउट ई बैंकिंग नाउ What is e-banking? E-banking is a service provided by many banks in which a customer is allowed to conduct banking transactions over internet, right? Using personal computer, mobile phone, or laptop. Now, what are these facilities? Facilities like managing savings, checking amounts, applying for loans. and paying bills so these are your functions which are provided by the e banking and e banking is provided by many of the banks now there are different types of digital payments there are so many types of digital payments now the first type of digital payment which you are going to study is debit card now what is debit card debit card is an electronic card issued by bank which allows the bank which allows the client access to his account to withdraw cash or pay for goods and services if you have a debit card you must know that that debit card provides you the access to your account and you can easily pay from your account whatever you are paying that will be deducted from your account right up to the limit of the credit balance of their account whatever there is limit of your account credit limit only that much amount you can deduct you can use in by paying for goods and services so this is the debit card now the next one is credit card what is credit card it is also an electronic card issued by the financial institution authorizing the holder to buy goods basically the banks provide you the credit card facilities for those who have a credit balance who have a lots of balance why they provide so that you can buy goods and services on credit up to the credit limit and this is also known as plastic money this debit card and credit card both are known as plastic money you must have know about the credit card only the most of the rich people those rich people who are there in the society they hold the credit card i don't have a credit card don't look at me like that i don't have one so the credit card holders mostly they have a very large bank accounts and whatever they buy and purchase they use from that credit card the credit card gives you a certain limit that you can utilize from that card for buying different goods and services and there is a charge which you have to pay in the end now the third one is neft neft you must have known or you must have heard somewhere about neft the full form of neft is national electronic fund transfer now neft this is a system of an online system for transferring funds in which transfer of money takes place from one bank to another on net basis on net basis direct transfer helps both the parties from inconvenience of drawing checks depositing checks etc and it takes some time in clearance and it can be returned online it can be returned now what is neft basically this sometimes the companies they don't have time to visit bank again and again to give the checks to deposit check to see the check so what they do they use neft under the neft your payment will be transferred to the other bank whatever the fee for that is will be charged that will be your fee will be charged and for for your fee they will transfer your amount from your bank account directly to the person whom you are trying to pay 
to his bank account that's the service which is provided and there is no limit you can send rupees 1 also and you can send 10 lakh 1 crore also now i heard that for transacting rupees 2 lakh the charge is rupees 5 only if you want to uh, transfer uh, 2 lakh uh, 1 rupee to 5 uh, 2 lakhs you have to spend 5 rupees even for sending 1 rupee you have to pay 5 rupees so that's the net and it helps the parties from the inconvenience they don't have to face inconvenience they don't have to go to the bank again and again and it takes time for the clearance the bank records your payment in a sequence and when your turn comes only then they transact your payment to the other party is that clear so and it can be written if the payment is not done to the other party then it can be stopped at the moment if you want to stop that payment it can be stopped but if that payment has been transacted then you cannot now the fourth one the next one is rtgs rtgs now minimum 2 lakh rupees minimum of 2 lakh rupees is the limit and it is a system it is an online system for transferring funds in which transfer of money takes place from one bank account on another bank account in real time on gross basis it means that it is just exactly same as NEFT NEFT exactly same but on the real time if you want to transfer money from one bank account to another it will be done within 30 minutes within 30 minutes and it cannot be returned if you want to say that suddenly you thought no this is not i'm not going to transfer this money then it can't be brought back once the transaction happens you cannot bring it back on real time basis means suddenly if you want to do that if you have filled the form you have informed the bank it will be done within 30 minutes now it is operated by rbi reserve bank of india the central bank the superior bank now the limit for transacting rupees 2 lakh to 5 lakh you have to spend 30 rupees and if you are going to transact more than 5 lakh then 50 rupees and it cannot be returned to the bank once transact once transferred it cannot be brought back so have you understood what is net and rtgs fine the next is atm you already know what is atm i'm not going to tell you about atm you already know what is are its function you can easily take out the money right now sometimes the full form of atm is asked so the full form of atm is automated teller machine now the next one is e cash or digital cash now students you must have heard about paytm bhim app right so these are providing the electronic e cash right electronic cash they are not in real they are just a number in your paytm you can see you have 1000 rupees it's not rupees it's an electronic number with that number you can buy things right so a new concept of online payment system e cash is used over internet email or personal computer or a mobile right for example paytm beam etc now the seventh one is mobile banking most of the banks have provided their own app like my account is an access bank so i have got the access bank app in which i get all the facilities which i can do in within my phone only i don't have to go to the bank i don't have to do things like that now mobile banking it is a system that allows the customer to perform banking transactions through a mobile device i can do whatever i want within my phone i don't have to go to the bank again and again or i don't have to go to even the atm to check my current balance is that clear i can do my mutual funds i can have a fixed deposit i can do anything within my home only i don't have to leave my house for that so students that's all for today's video you have understood the whole electronic banking system what are the 
methods types of method which you have provided by the bank which is debit card credit card neft rtgs and atm e cash and mobile banking so students that's all for this video stay home stay safe and see you soon